A World War II vet, a woman nearly mauled to death. She'll lose a leg. It looks like she'll lose an arm. Four pit bull mixed dogs attacked. There's blood everywhere. The dogs had blood on them. Tonight, why the dog's owner won't likely face charges. Kyra 7's Deborah Horn is live at Harborview in Seattle, where the victim is a patient. Deborah, her family's worried she may not make it. Sydney, that is certainly the family's concern tonight because she is in intensive care in critical condition here at Harborview. It is easy to imagine the horror 92-year-old Gladys Alexander faced when she walked across the street late yesterday to give her neighbor the newspaper as she had for a decade. The neighbor wasn't there, but the four pit bull mixed dogs she is caring for were, and they went after Gladys Alexander. Mom's doing poorly. Her son, who was a doctor and professor in Southern California, says her prognosis is not good. We know she'll lose a leg. It looks like she'll lose an arm. We're not sure she's going to make it out of here alive. These are pictures of the blood-soaked scene inside the house. I've been doing this job for more than six years. I have never seen anything like it. It appeared that she was drugged into the house about 10 feet. The Thurston County Sheriff's investigators say the homeowner was running errands and returned home to find the dogs attacking Alexander. She stopped the attack. Nevertheless, investigators say neither she nor the dogs, one of them a pregnant female, committed a crime. This is not a criminal case. We're not investigating this crime as a crime, as tragic as it is. Uh, the dogs were contained on the property that they're supposed to be contained at. Andrew Alexander says what the dogs did to his mother is a crime. Simony Gladys Alexander was simply too badly hurt to survive. In fact, her, her son said as much yesterday. Now the dogs that mauled her are here at Animal Control awaiting their own fate. Only our camera was there as investigators for Thurston County Animal Services removed the dogs from the Scott Lake home where they mauled a 92-year-old neighbor. Their docile demeanor, a stark contrast to this. The way they behaved when we showed up yesterday. Very likely the same way they were late Sunday afternoon when Gladys Alexander walked into the house while unbeknownst to her, the homeowner was away. Those who saw her say the dogs tore away nearly all the flesh from a leg and an arm, leaving her so badly hurt, her son Andrew told us yesterday. We're not sure she's going to make it out of here alive. As word spread, those living in this tight-knit neighborhood began bringing flowers to her home. The authorities say that though Alexander was killed by the dogs, no crime was committed because they were confined to their home and she, in effect, trespassed. It is a bitter pill, however, for those who knew her. I understand that. At the same time, it just feels so criminal that she had to have suffered so tragically and that she ended up having to die in this manner is just horrific. As I told you yesterday, the homeowner has agreed to have one of the dogs, the one that belongs to her, euthanized. The other three dogs belong to her daughter, who is incarcerated. But I'm being told someone will be going to the jail to ask her to release the dogs to the county. They will be quarantined here for 10 days while a decision is made about what to do with them.